Good evening from Paris, where England, the last home nation standing, are preparing to take on South Africa in Saturday's World Cup semi-final. This is a repeat of the final of the World Cup four years ago in Japan, a game where England were completely outmuscled by South Africa. And judging by South Africa's quarter-final win over France on Sunday, the current South Africa side are as powerful, if not more powerful, and have added a running game to their attack, a potent paceful element to their attack which Kevin Sinfield, England's defence coach, says he is incredibly impressed with. They're a top team, aren't they? Um, we saw the game on, on Saturday evening um, and we're in awe of the physicality that they brought. I think France certainly turned up too and it was, um, it was a great showcase for, for what rugby is about. Um, we knew whoever we met at this point um, be a tough challenge, especially with the draw. It was either the, the horse or the good holders. We have the most respect for them. We think they are a, a nation that um, play the best rugby and play some great rugby and, and they know what they're about and they don't shy away from it. And we look forward to the test at the weekend. And how do you meet that physicality? How do you raise the bar? Well, I've had some pretty tough challenges, I think, over this, the World Cup. Um, you know, we do appreciate, having watched the game at weekend, um, what they will bring. Um, there's some guys in our team who've had the experience of playing against them before. But also, we've got some pretty physical guys as well. And um, we understand that it's a big part of the game. But like I said, we, we know we're coming up against a very, very good side. Few are giving England a chance here on Saturday. The bookies have them at 5-1. to one. In fact, few people have given England a chance since they lost to Fiji at Twickenham seven weeks ago in the build-up to this tournament. People said they wouldn't get out of their group. They have. People said they wouldn't beat Fiji. They have. Steve Borthwick's men have found a way to win and it's brought them tighter together. Scrum half Danny Kerr, who could start on Saturday, having played a role off the bench mostly at this World Cup so far, says keep riding us off because it keeps motivating us. We've been written off the whole time. Obviously, we uh, our, our autumn games, the warm-up games, weren't great for us. So we were we were written off, and we were going to be out of the pool apparently, to, according to a lot of people, um, which is fine. We deserved that because our performances weren't good enough. Um, we've quietly kind of used that as as a little bit of intrinsic motivation that um, we want to go prove people wrong. We want to prove it to ourselves. I think that we are a good team. Um, it, means an awful lot for us to play for England, especially in the World Cup. The amount of people that are coming out to support us, paying a lot of money to come and watch us. We want to do them proud. There's a lot of people back at home that would love to come that can't, that we that we owe them a big performance. And um, yeah, we're uh, we're just quietly ticking ticking it off as, as we go. The, the first thing for us we set ourselves was to get to Paris. We're here now, but we don't just want to be a semi-finalist. We want to get to the final, we want to get to the big dance. So we know we're going to have to play very well on the weekend, but. We're looking forward to it. So those people saying there's no chance you're getting to the final, what would you say to them? Just believe. Have a little belief. Why not? Security measures at this tournament have been high from the off. President Macron mobilising an unprecedented number of police and military ahead of the opener here against New Zealand and France. And those levels have continued. They were raised, actually, ahead of the quarterfinals last weekend because of the war in the Middle East. And after the terror attack in Brussels, Paris is on full alert. So fans coming here this weekend are being urged to get to the stadium early because since 2015, when there was a terror attack here at the Stade de France, there is a security perimeter around the stadium and those bags checks and body searches that take place to get inside that perimeter take time.